The co-working house in Milford is a haven for local entrepreneurs who need a workspace for a day or a month. Here, New Hampshire's Small Business Development Center is like a guardian angel for the startups and the owner herself. I literally meet with them every single month. Kristen Hardwick was upset to learn that help could be going away. Governor Chris Sununu's newly unveiled state budget calls for the UNH-based Small Business Development Center to have its $880,000 appropriation cut to just $50,000 in 2022 and then zero in 2023. I think it's outrageous. The Small Business Development Center does so much for for myself, for, our, for the members of the co-working space, for so many small businesses across the state. The proposed cut would mean the loss of a $1.5 million federal matching grant, potentially forcing the SBDC to shut down. We will be the only state or U.S. territory without a small business development center. And I think a lot of us would really like to know why. In 2020 alone, the SBDC says its economic impact in New Hampshire was estimated at $166 million. Many see it as a lifeline helping local businesses through the pandemic. We're still missing about half the jobs we lost in the spring last year. We did speak with SBDC leaders. They said simply that they are eager to work with House and Senate budget writers to prove the value their organization brings to New Hampshire. The governor's office says, quote, the state has subsidized this university grant for years. While the university can continue to provide match funds for this program, the state is going to redirect its resources to focus on job-creating tax cuts for small businesses and increased investment in workforce development efforts. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.